Oh boy. It has been a while since I played Fallout. <laughs> I'm tired. I woke up like half an hour ago. <laughs> Don't remember what we were doing. What I do know is that we have pep boy skins now, so.
kill monster. New friend? Sure. We can be friends. Sito Happy have strong friend. You kill monster alone. Monster strong. But you stronger. Sito Happy you kill monster. Monster hurt Sito and Sito family. Well, it can't hurt you anymore, Sito. No. Many more monster. No stop. Sito kill monster. New monster come. Sito kill monster again. New monster come again. Monsters not stop. Help Sito stop monsters? Of course. I'll help. Sito happy you help. New friend, follow Sito. Sito show you thing. Thing to help kill monsters. Family. Immediately. <laughs> no worry. They not hurt you. You friend Sito mean you friend family. Uh, you have a lovely family, Sito. You say nice thing. Sito like new friend. Now you help Sito. Family in danger. Hide here from monsters. Here only play safe. Here have no food. Here have no water. Sito go outside to help family. Monster try to kill Sito. Sito kill many. More monsters come. Never stop. Sito scared monster hurt family. It's okay, Sito. We'll take care of your family. Sito like new friend. Sito have story. Story help stop monsters. Sito eat with family. Wrinkly man come inside home. Wrinkly man hurt. Sito try help. Wrinkly man say he make monsters. Sito mad at wrinkly man. Monsters hurt family. Wrinkly man, sorry monsters hurt family. He gives Sito shiny thing. He say shiny thing help Sito stop monsters. Sito try help more, but wrinkly man die. Sito put wrinkly man in ground, but keep shiny thing. Now give shiny thing new friend. Help Sito. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Rep the 
complicated. It's out of control. It's producing them at an alarming rate. Please, somebody, anybody, find my passcode. Or Dr. Hines, <coughs> shut down the replicator before it's... <coughs> before it's too late. And if this recording should reach Dr. Hines, please tell him to forgive me. Dead man have important thing. Hmm. So it seems like the Gator Claws, uh, the monsters, are coming from an animal cloning facility somewhere beneath Safari Adventure. Shiny thing help, new friend? Yes, it was very helpful. I just need to find the cloning facility. Sito have idea. Sito see wrinkly man come from big triangle house long time ago. Go to big triangle house. Find cloning facility. Stop monsters. Sito come with new friends. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Sito help. I and all I see is wing. <laughs> yeah. No. Stay with your family. I got this. Sito stay. Sito protect family. Also, have I missed anything important story wise? Mouse! <laughs> um, so, we find, of course, these things. They're in our hands anyway.
Reserve your tickets now and be the first to ride our angry anaconda coaster. It seems like Dr. Hine was kidnapped in here. and taken somewhere called the Angry Anaconda? We find that and we can find his passcode to get into the cloning facility. Sound like name of snake from old zoo. Oh, maybe Dr. Under Giant Metal Snake. I'm sure you know exactly where that is, Sito. Yes, Sito no. It big. What word? Ride. Ride like big snake. Sito see from everywhere. Very big. Very snaky. <laughs> it uphill behind Sue. Maybe Doctor Man there. Good job, Sito. Well, I knew you'd be helpful. Sito help. Sito like help new friend. <laughs> I like Cito. He's fun. <laughs> Coca-Cola drinking contest must turn in their indemnity waivers before they will be allowed to participate. Darksaber or a katana? My Darksaber has gay mode. <laughs> Thank you. 
Over here. Move here. Hey.
right.
are sold out. Tickets for evening showings are still available. He's, he did not have a good time. I have not, I have yet to find the flag.
Gateway games are available at any one of the Mark Token dispensers in Dry Rock Gulch. Supposed to be going. to kill Cito and his family? I don't want to kill them. should not be coming back. Your family's safe, Sito. Sito, so happy. How Sito thank new friend. Listen, Sito. You and your family have to get out of here. Mean people are coming, and they might hurt you, or your family. Sito sad, but Sito understand. Home too dangerous Hi, now. Glenn. Sito take family and go. Here, new friend take. It better shiny thing Sito save. Sito want to give. Thank you, new friend. Sito always remember you. I love you too. He gave me a rocket man. Nice.
having a good day here at Nuka World. Ready to saddle up and ride into the old wild west. This whole area is infested with blood worms and who knows what else. It's not safe. You must This whole area is infested with blood worms and who knows what else. It's not safe. You must mean the no good outlaws that are coming out of Grand Mulligan's mind. Well, partner, if you're interested in lending a hand, I could use a no deputy. What do you say? Let me see if I can run some overrides and make you a little more helpful. Employee manual login recognized. Currently running in full. I just got... Hold up. Did I just get what I think I got? Hold up. Oh my god, I did! There's my favorite deputy. I got a cowboy hat. <laughs> Tempting. But no. I will do so. I will let the operators have their fun. Doc Phosphate Saloon. You look 
march there, stranger. You know Attention, guests. If you've lost your hidden cappy glasses, additional pairs can be purchased from any souvenir stand in any of our parks. Hospitality is a big deal out here in Dry Rock Gulch. That's why I want you to handle tending the bar. I got three orders of drinks I need you to deliver. One is just upstairs, and the other two are in town. You game? Oh, no. We're not doing this. Let's see if I can make some adjustments. Employee manual login recognized. Exhibition bypass protocol engaged. Handing over part two of this week's safe combination rebooting. Don't forget to stake out a good spot for the Fizz Top Mountain Fireworks Spectacular this evening. Show starts promptly at 9 p.m. Dead yep. Time for a little reprogramming. Employee manual login. <laughs> Just give me that shit. Exhibition bypass protocol engaged. Handing over part three of this week's safe combination rebooting. Look at your cute little face. It is not. There we go. Am I really shooting ants with an anti-tank rifle? Yes. Yes, I am. Howdy, partners. Welcome to Driver. Right. That's it. Have a nuke. <laughs>
P90. There's no P90. Chained on the other side. Got it. That one by yourself, Piper. Good job. Proud of you. I really kill it just by spraying around. <laughs> That's it. Got it. That mine was the nest for a bloodworm queen. Now that she's gone, this whole area should be a lot safer. I can't understand a word of what you're saying, but you've <laughs> been the best deputy this side of the Mississippi. Here, take some souvenir 
bottle caps courtesy of the Milka Cola. Janitorial Service Department. You and your friends are welcome in Dry Rock Gulch anytime. been here since you killed dance yeah I'm, I'm not happy about having to do that by the way I could have, if I had the mod I would have shot him with an anti-tank rifle it would have been painless he would have just not existed That's a badass looking knife. I don't want to go to this wedding. Yeah, I know. But you will, won't you? You got earplugs? Mason's been waiting for you. Ain't no one sad about Coulter. Just don't screw this up. You want to hear the music? Mason earned his place at the top. Don't forget that. Uh, hi there. There's Nero. Let's wake you up. Hi there! If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, if you collect a full set of park medallions, I'll give you a special reward. Tell me more about these park medallions. I'd be delighted to. Spread throughout the park are several dispensing machines. Once you've got I've got a full set of park medallions. So you do. Why, that's just nougatastic. Here's your special <laughs> that's reward. Such a what angle. else would you like to know? No questions for now. In that case, thanks for error. <laughs> System d -d -d malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable dung sniffing dirt scratcher. System restored. Have a great day. <laughs> Gonna... I don't care to talk much. Gets me into trouble. Then why are you speaking to me, sir? I am the overboss here.
that that's very frequent with this mod. It doesn't hide the wing when you're in conversation. Just a reminder that Nuka World is not responsible for injuries sustained by the audience SB during the Cola Clown Comedy Cavalcade. Attention guests, right. the last outbound tram to the Nuka World Transit Center will be leaving the- I don't have security breach, and I'm not sure I will, frankly. Oh yeah, Nuka World had its own power armor. Right. I'm not sure I'd play it on stream. I'm not big on specific, I'm not big on single player horror at the moment. I'll consider it. Also broke at the moment, so I'd have to save up some money to get it. So I'll put it on the playlist. I'll put it on the playlist for the time being. Attention. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. I was just doing what I do best. Hey, if I didn't think you had it in you, I wouldn't have put my neck on the line. But still, you've just got to understand, we ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, Let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Aiming pretty high, aren't you, Gage? Why stop there? Why not take over the moon while we're at it? <laughs> nah, the little green men can keep that one. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, 
they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Sure. And I suppose you'll have someone else give the orders while I'm gone. <laughs> Convenient. Hey, ever since you set foot in Nuka World, I've been looking out for your interests. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. If you're vouching for this Shank guy, that sounds good enough to me. Yeah, sure. How else do you think he ended up at the top of my Christmas list? Just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you want my advice, or if you want me to tag along, you've got it. Things are boring as hell. Sure up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. Been a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> Who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. The gang certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name Shank. And if you're standing here, well, I suppose Gage figured you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it take him to convince you it was time to move on the comic? Let's get one thing straight here. It may have been his suggestion, but it'll be my decision. I can see that. Well, regardless of the source, idea's a good one. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, Make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. Let's discuss this later. Up to you, boss. I'm not going anywhere. This part, I'm not gonna lose standing with Viper for. <laughs> so I'm gonna have her hang at the Red Rocket Station.
Hey. Shoot. Hey, Piper. You mm, hungry? These always keep me going. It's time we part ways. If you're sure, I guess I'll head home. Just, uh, don't keep me waiting. Nisha seems to think you could make a difference. But for better? your help. Yeah, okay. Sure. Beat it, but Don't talk to dog meat that way. Don't talk to mouse. Well, he looks at me and he says, Man, you look like hell. How long has it been since you slept? I say, but not me, I'd leave that behind. But you're the boss. Criticize my shit and I'll execute you, Gage. Dixie, of course. So you know it's gonna be fun. Pass. I love sure, it. we carry guns. It's not fun. It's close. I know it's close. It has to be. This sure beats spending your whole life growing shitty crops just to wind up. Welcome back. I'm gonna take a slice of the common boss. New boss, huh? Don't worry. I don't cause problems. Hey, boss. Just minding my own business. Hey, Harry. So you ready to get this show on the road, boss? Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. Shank ain't kidding. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth's gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from. An outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and <laughs> convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? I, uh, I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. Let me talk to them. 
I'll convince them to leave. Works for me. Once you've planted your flag in the place, I'll send a crew in to set up shop. Now, next up, you'll have to pick who you want to hold your outpost once it's established. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang should I have join you once you've staked your claim? The operators. Got it. I'm sure they'll appreciate you thinking of them. I bet you they can manage to keep looking bored through the whole thing. That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, the Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? We can't target certain settlements with certain jobs? Unfortunately. Can't talk people off their land if there's no one around to talk to and the like. Most cases, I'll try to let you know why we can't target a place. But the biggest hindrance is if there's already some activity going on there. Though if that is the case, that Pip-Boy of yours might be able to give you some info on whatever might be blocking us hitting that spot. Now, you ready to pick that first settlement? What were those targets you'd recommended before? Croup Manor, Taffington Boathouse, Green Top Nursery, and the Slog. Again, I can't guarantee those will all be available targets till I check my notes. But if they are, they're certainly a good place to start. Now you ready to make your decision? I'm ready. Good. So, where you want to do this? So, to get these folks to scram, you got two main options. Buy them out, or scare them off. Either way, the more afraid they are, the simpler or cheaper getting them gone will be. Lizzie Wyeth over with the operator should have some toys that'll make running them off easier. And it's worth keeping in mind, the more populated or fortified a place is, the more prep you're going to want to do before trying to run them off. Happy hunting, boss. I'm much obliged. I'm much obliged. Once I finish this quest line, we're gonna go do some more. We're gonna do more like side stuff that's not part of any main quest lines or anything like that. And, um.
guys are rolling with anti tank rifles. The mad lads. But yes, once I finish uh, the main game here, uh, we're going to be rolling in with the, the next run, I believe. I'm doing some side stuff, but yeah. Hey, you. Hey, something I can do for you? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. What? This place? Listen, not trying to piss you off here, but I... I'm not sure that's going to work. This is home. Now, I'm gonna make this easy for you. Take these caps, and go. Caps? For this? Uh, yeah, fine. I, uh, I guess it's all yours. Hey. Not gonna bother you, all right? Hey. Yeah. I'm thinking this place will do. At least once we get some supplies coming in. You ought to head on if back, boss. The big bad Let them know how it works. Couldn't have shown up a year ago, huh? going around is that some big bad raider boss strolled into the Commonwealth and talked a group of settlers right off their land. <laughs> Not too shabby. It's a damn good start. I'll make sure your cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, now that we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two, provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. 
I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide will be waiting in your trunk up in Fiztown. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough on. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Why stop at kneecaps? Let me talk to them. I'll get them to hand over what we need. Sure, sure. So, which crew you want keeping an eye on the place once you get them to bend the knee? The operators. I'll send word along. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your Pip-Boy. Joint called Nordhagen Beach, I think, is close enough to work. Could be a good target, though I'd need to check my notes, of course. So, what's the target? Huh. Was that... Wait. Pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want to hit? Actually, I changed my mind. You got it. So, you want to give me another target? Or did you maybe want to change up the job? Let's do a different target. Sure thing. So, where do you want to hit? Kind of have to do one of these. Huh. Was that... Huh. I think that one's your territory, boss. You're sure that's the one you want to hit? That one's the target. Of course, boss. So, to get these settlers to cough up provisions, they need to know that we aren't a crew to be trifled with. You can try convincing them to pay up, or you could rough them up some. Let them know we mean business. Plus, having an outpost nearby gives us another option. Claiming the airwaves. Building a Nuka World radio transmitter at an outpost within range of the target will let them know we're closing in on them. Your Pip-Boy map should show you which outposts are close enough to serve. And if none of that works, well, I suppose you could always try paying one of them to convince the rest. Plenty of ways for you to skim this cat. I don't want to skim Have cat. fun. Now that we're kind of going into territory of an evil playthrough. Um, might be actually a decent time to go to do an evil playthrough. How do I start a prediction? How do I start a prediction?
Okay. Um, I'll take care of that later. But yeah, um, thinking... I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save, and then we're going to quit to the main menu. Because I'm actually decently happy with where we were. switch to this Okay, so yeah, here's what we're going to do. We are going to start again. We're going to get a new playthrough running, and this is going to be the start of our evil aligned playthrough, we're going to be allying with the Institute. Now this is a new run entirely. I've only done a couple of Steven.
I'm not going to be having any companions except dog meat. Or mouse in this regard. Let me switch that back. Hello. Where's my game? Where's my game? Excuse me? Where's my game? Hmm. Let's try that again. Yeah, this time I'm going to be switching to the female survivor. This is taking a while. <laughs> Thank you. 
king. You gonna let me play the game or? I'm gonna load all the mods I have installed. Come on. I've had faster load times on No Man's Sky. Turns out the playthrough is just for the female survivors. <laughs> you get you get shot. <laughs>
You get shot by Kellogg. <laughs> Come on! Come on, game, frickin' load. <laughs> Thank you.
What the hell is this taking so long? Come on. I've had potatoes with faster load times than this. Like... So if you know Harry Potter spell... I'm going to use the restroom, so we'll see if it loads by the time I get back.
still on a loading screen. So what that means is we're going to restart the game <laughs> again. See if it loads faster this time. If it loads at all. There we go. Skip the opening cutscene. We don't need to see that again. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. My turn, big guy. Hun, you look as good as the day we met. That seems applicable. I think Sean has my eyes. Gorgeous. I have the best hairdresser, I swear. Did I mention how much I love your new hairstyle? Oh yeah. Yeah, that works. Oh, I need to hit 
space to apply. There we go. Let me just slide in here. You look as good as the day we met. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, you have such strong cheekbones. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Did I mention how much I love that new haircut? Okay, come on. Distributing lightsabers. Ah, good morning, Mum. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> More of the same. Oh, his name is Nate normally. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Now who left those here? Rowan. <laughs> it's a little early to be drinking. We have a pet. We had we have a dog boy. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Good morning, Voltec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that <laughs> sky out there. <laughs> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. 
Then I'm glad I opened the door. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Just sat down. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. <laughs> Most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our affiliate stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. God. We need to get to the vault. Now! Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. This way, all vault participants. Hold on, Lieutenant. Hold on. on the list infant adult male adult female okay go ahead thank you good luck sir you too follow me come on all. what's gonna happen to all those people outside We're doing the gate everything we can now keep moving step on the platform in the center Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on!
did it. We made it. The platform still doesn't exist. Okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. Hey, no hun. need to worry, folks. We made it. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. This is our new home. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Right over there. Here you are. Just step Head over down the, the hall there. Right over there, please. Over there. Take a suit. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Why is all See? of my gear in French? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How long do you think we'll be down here? What if they oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Excuse me. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Just step into the chamber. Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There she is, see? Mommy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four. Oh, 
Vault residents must vacate immediately. Come on. There has to be a release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. Roaches? What the hell? What happened here? Where is everyone? All that's left? Nice. Coming back later for you.
my claws a manicure? <laughs> I think my claws are manicure. understand why everything I collect is in French. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back.
surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. I need to check the thing again. Worth. What happened to the world? The world, Mum? Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? He can't be dead. He can't be. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these terrible things, I, I believe you'll need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. 
checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir, had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my baby. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, no, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Not 200 years. A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years Years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? What do you know, Codsworth? I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came, and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. <laughs> Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home.
matter how hard it is, we do it for our family. Oops. <laughs> no, no, little fingers away. Uh, there we go. Just say it. Right there. Right there. Go ahead. I think Sean and I need to tell you how great of a mother you are, but we're going to anyway. You were kind and loving and funny, <laughs> that's right, and patient, so patient, patience of a saint, as your mother used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being at home together, it's been an amazing year, but even so, I know our best days are yet to come. There will be changes, sure. Things we'll need to adjust to. I'll rejoin the civilian workforce. You'll shake the dust off your law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye, honey. We love you. Yes, he did. There's the best boy. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, though? <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together.
balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Uh, uh, Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time. Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, hey. wanted to make a difference. And I did, but <sighs> nope, things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home. A fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's old Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are... irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and damn it. live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations <sighs> rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll nope. rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway... We figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Will it be enough to stop those maniacs? Sturgis, tell her. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. 
you can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Huh. Could work. It'll work, provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Sweet. Somebody up here!
Take it easy, mama. You okay? I just went awesome. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move some. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Because there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You are a woman out of time. Out of hope. But all is not lost. I can feel... Your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please, tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk, it's gonna kill you. But shush, Preston, we're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here. She's gonna need it too. Hey. Let's get going. How you doing, buddy? All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here. It's hey, boy. Move out. You know any tricks? Mama Murphy knows about. Thanks, Will. Wait far. there. She knows about it? Come on. You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd. And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it can hardly oh, hold on, hold on. Than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together. Right? So, Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Coming with us to Sanctuary? Get going. Diamond City is where you need to head. We'll travel with you guys to Sanctuary first. Don't forget the price we paid to get this far. Let's move out. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. Can't believe you took that thing out. First time I've seen one of these things up close. I'm very glad it's already dead. Thank you. 
Heads up. Can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> Where are we going, Marcy? Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Uh, uh, okay. I think I just found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh, Sturgis? Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get to Sanctuary first, though. I think we're close. The help you need is in Diamond City, child. I'll be damned. It's the monument to the original Minutemen. I knew that was somewhere around Concord. That means this right here must be the Old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss, but I'm glad you're happy about it. Glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? I don't know. It's strange being back here. What do you mean? You used to live here or something? Yeah. Before the war. Before everything was ruined. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here. Over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? I don't want to talk about it. No worries. We've all got our past to deal with. I don't need to know anything you don't want to tell me. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgeon. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get.
Heads up. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna pause real quick, use the restroom, and then we will be back. Oh shit, I come back and we're be I'm being raided. Well, welcome raiders. <laughs> and thanks for the raid, Lydia. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
welcome to welcome to modded Fallout 4. <laughs> Sorry, you came in the middle of it when I went to use the restroom. <laughs> Regardless, welcome to the stream. I had a feeling one of these days I was going to get raided by you. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. is fine indeed. Well, welcome everyone. Um, we're doing, uh, we're doing an evil aligned playthrough with this, this fine looking woman here. And yes, I have a Vulpine Race mod. It, it is what it is. Sue me. <laughs> Thank you for huh? the bet. Hey there. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Let's see what you got. Oh, I have a little bit of everything. You do have a you do have a little bit of everything. Damn. I don't know why everything, like, armor-wise, is French, so... Blank. There we go. <laughs> no one saw that. No one saw that miss at point blank range. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. That's not okay. Never take a hit at Jad again, I swear. Can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. You got things covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? Not today. Oh, I guess we'll keep moving on then. 
maybe doing an evil line playthrough, but that means I can just kill indiscriminately, so. Hmm. Like, I'll help settlements if I decide I want to. Lock tight. Do I not have that? No, it would be in perception, I think. Yeah. Well, good to note that's here. gonna skip around Lexington for now. Because I know there's a behemoth somewhere in there, and I am by no means ready to take on a behemoth. Especially not without power armor, and I'm not using power armor right now. area so we have a fast travel point to it. But... Just so I can uh, get there quicker if need be. I guess we'll go help out uh, the Brotherhood for a second. Automated message repeating. This is a drive hail from Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Automated men for This is Scribe Halen and we're going to block Gladius to any Dance. Check your fire. We've got godless heathen. Hey there. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I prefer to keep my business to myself. Then, if there's nothing left to discuss, I suggest you leave our compound immediately. Okay. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Have you decided to cooperate and tell me what brought you here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals? I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Sanctuary Hills, on the other side of Concord. I've seen the location on our maps, but I've never visited the area myself. There isn't much over there for us to collect. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. 
Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep-range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Outstanding. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Come back to help them out later on. But right now, we're gonna get to the diamond city. Let's reptile. Standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? Huh. 
You hear that, Danny? You going to open the gate and let us in, or are you going to be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. <laughs> Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend <laughs> your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help? I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates in I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. As much as we love Piper here, unfortunately she will not be coming with us on this journey. Read all about it. Anyone is it is about no theater district that pervade his own combat zone. Her and her. Clear if I was your hair. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it. That kind of talk is gonna get you sick. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. 
I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. stuff until later down the line. Kyle, it's me! I'm not a synth! Don't move, synth! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth! Don't shoot, for God's sakes! We're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Sith! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Every time I know it, play, every time I play this game, I know it happens. It still, it just still surprises me. Looking for Diamond City? No, I, I know where Diamond City is.
Where is Mouse? I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left.
Okay. So loud. Hello. Got you, Skinny? Huh? Got you. <laughs> so I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron! We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of Union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Wait, the hell?
disappearing act ain't fooling me. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? What is that? Keep talking, meathead. Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna fuck you off. What do you mean? What? Ah. You're shooting through boxes. Gotta love the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? I need you to find someone, but it's... It's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be, or... How long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Okay. Malone's crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players, until they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Just an empty vault. Perfect hideout. Hold up, I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? Job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino, quit razzing that detective and get down here. Where the heck is he? Hard and loud, huh? Well, gets the job done. 
bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Look alive. What the hell? More stairs? Built this damn wall of fitness instructors. Are you clowns afraid of your own shadows now? Get better! Step through this door, get ready for anything. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men? Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. Better get out of here fast. One. Two.
That Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. Commonwealth, as long as I have, you learn a few things. These old buildings and alleyways give you a lot of opportunities to hide if things get bad. Something out there. Hello, beautiful. Yeah? Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. It's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, 
I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. My husband was... murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground. Sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, but infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, uh, I think it was kind of a hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who killed my husband, he... Had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like like sandpaper. Cross your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be... somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. 
Either way, they both vanished Tails a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. One heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Yes. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Look at this. All of a Merc's. Gwyneth's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? I'm bring Nick with us. You this say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy?
back for the bike later. Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. San Francisco Sunlights. Dug me find something? Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Someone should make use of it. Another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay, boy. Let's track him. <laughs> A decoy, huh? Clever.
Cardinal signs. Alert. All of the Cardinal signs. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Just tell me where Kellogg went. Tin can. Identity of assailant. Kellogg. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. <laughs> What do you think, boy? Felix. Huh? Look around. Is this our man? I think where we are right now is a good place to call it off. Is this the place, huh? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. We're gonna call it here. And, uh. There will be no stream tomorrow. I have an event I need to attend. So, yeah. Uh. I will see you. Maybe sometime this week. I gradu I'm graduating tomorrow, so. I got plenty of time on my hands. All right. See you later.